guys and welcome back to another episode of Rebuilding Wimbledon. If you are enjoying the series so far, please do drop a like on the video. If we could get 400, that would be spectacular. Now, we're on the day of the uh, group stage draw for the Europa League. Now, I expected us to be in the bottom group, but we're actually not. We've got 21 coefficient points, and I don't really know why that is, because uh, we've not played in Europe ever. Um, so if someone could explain that to me, that would be fantastic, because I'm genuinely confused as to why that is. I take it that can't, it's not just from European competition. Is that because of the country we're from? Is it because of other reasons? It must be, really. Um, but yeah, Rangers are actually in Europe as well, you'll notice here. So yeah, we're actually going to be in the second, uh, in the third pot, which means there will be, a, in theory, a weaker team than us in it too. But in theory, I think we'll probably be at least as good as a lot of the teams in the second pot as well. So we're going to get this going uh, while I do a question of the day. And today's question is one I've actually decided to add in myself, and that is this. Have your club ever had a player that only played for them for a very short time, perhaps even on loan? But what is your favourite player that only ever played for a very short time at your club? That, that is my question to you. So on loan or for just like half a season or a full season. So for mine, it's Lewis Holtby. That half a season that he was on loan at Fulham uh, from Spurs, he was he bled black and white more than most of the other players in that squad. We played away at Aston Villa in one of those games. We won 2-1. In... When, I think it was Kieran Richardson that scored the winner. Lewis Holtby, on loan, got booked for over-celebrating. I mean, that's saying something. And he, I loved that guy. And if we'd have stayed up, I would have loved to have signed it. But there you go. That's for me. What do you guys think? So let's have a look at how the groups are. And if you do have any ideas for a question there, of course, drop those in the comments too with the hashtag QOTD. So... Uh, let's see. Any groups that are shaping up as being interesting so far? Uh, Bruce you mentioned Gladbach Dynamo. Hmm. I don't know at this point. Inter and Alexi. A lot of them have got one really good side. Braga Besiktas could be a good one, actually. Uh, here we go. Right, let's see what we get. Uh, go on. Ah, uh, Rijika. Okay. What about that one? I'd take that one. Not that one, though, please. Oh, okay. Sampdoria Malmo could be an interesting one. No. Inter and Alexi, please, no. Right, go on. Braga Besiktas. Have it. Yes! I will take that one to the bank. Villa get Villarreal, uh, interestingly, and CSKA. Uh, okay, so who are we going to get for our final competitor? I would take someone like... Rangers would be quite cool, actually. If we could get drawn against Rangers, because then we'd actually get to play against Rangers, which would be quite fun. Damn it, we don't get Rangers. Uh, Trenchin, maybe? Partizan would be cool. Uh, Litex, maybe? Okay, let's just let's just stop guessing and see what we get. Litex, all right, who are we going to get? We've got given... Austria VN. Okay, that's going to be quite a difficult group because there's no, like, stupidly weak side in that group. But I think that at the same time gives us a really good chance of winning it. So we are going to be doing later in this episode... Uh, what did I say? I said the Spurs game, didn't I? So in the next one, we'll do a, a Europa League game. Do not worry about that, guys. So I will join you guys in a sec. Enjoy some highlights of the games that we've played this month and the games I've yet to actually play, like the Chelsea game. And I will join you guys in a sec for the Spurs game. Is it short for Carlos? He does, and it's 1-0 to Wimbledon. Perfect start. Carlos is first of the season. We have the lead, and this is an important one. We need some three points at this stage because we've got some tough fixtures coming up. It's to Fabio. Everton's making the run. He's in the box here. Can he find a shot? Goes short for Fabio. Can he find a shot? He bloody can, and it's 2-0 to Wimbledon. Fabio with his second goal in as many matches, and he started the season perfectly. That's what I want to see from him. So 2-0, good home win. Maybe a little bit lucky, I'd have to say, though. Lovely football being played. Carlos, that wide for Everton. Can he pull it across for someone this time? He needs to. He does. Fabio scores. Cri oh, my God. Everton and Fabio are teaming up brilliantly. We lead at Manchester City now. What a performance this has been so far. A bit through, he does. Fabio's in. It's 2-0. Fabio scored both of them, and he's got four in three. This could be his year, guys. Incredible stuff. Bubakar. Oh, that's a goal. Zivkovic is in, and he's missed it, and he's put in the rebound. That's just lucky, isn't it? But there you go. City get themselves a deserved goal back, and we still lead at the, uh, at the Etihad, though. In for a Bubakar. Don't let them get them back straight into it. That would be a bit poor. Oh, good clearance. Oh, damn it. Straight from half time, and it's two all. I just it's the same as that other game we had against them a couple of years ago, except we've actually been much better, really. And valid for a point so far. Right? So there we go, two all. Like, as much as we were two goals to the good, City really did throw it at us, and I think a point is still a good result. Can he skin his man? He skins one. Can he do the second one? Of course he can. Go on, get a good cross for Fabio. This is what we need right now. Fabio's across, and it is 1 0 to Wimbledon. Fabio has scored in all four Premier League matches so far. We lead against Chelsea. A little bit of luck, but great work from Everton. Ball over the top, and Martial's in behind again here. We've got to go a little bit. Oh my goodness, fucking gracious. I don't really know what even to say about that. <laughs> Good lord. Martial. Come on, guys. You can hang on. Martial. Oh, this is a goal. This is a goal. Oh, 
Oh dear. Manquillo's had a woeful game. Chelsea have turned it around. And they deserve to, but that first goal was ridiculous. There we go. 2 1 Chelsea. Well, there we go. 2 1 Chelsea. They were the better team on the night, fair enough. But that first goal they scored, Christ on a bike. Right then, guys, we are back. Now, as you can see, um, I hope you enjoyed the highlights, of course. Sorry, it was a bit of a weird. I haven't done had to do one of those uh, draw sort of setups for a little while. We're, we're currently sitting 12th. And okay, you might think, well, that's pretty poor. But when you look at the start we've had, you know, playing against Chelsea, Manchester City, and against Southampton away, who have started very, very strongly, as you can see. You know, it's not... I think four points from that wouldn't have been too bad. I would have... Even if it was, you know, a point against Southampton away and then losing the other two. But the point is, we got a draw against City. Uh, yes, we were 2-0 up, but... It was always going to be difficult, and it really, really was. They hammered us in the second half against Chelsea. Okay, I feel like we could have got away with the draw against Chelsea. They were massively the better side. Fair play to them, but that's their first goal was insanely stupid. And I just get bored of seeing those ones. But there you go. That's just one of those things that happens, isn't it? So, Fabio is currently the top scorer in the entire division now with five in four. He scored in every game. that He's doing a Jamie Vardy. He's scored in every game so far this season um, and got two in one of them. And I think that was the game against Watford. He scored both. So, it's brilliant, um, frankly, so far. I'm incredibly impressed with them so far. Now, I actually have to play two of the United States games this month as well uh, against Trinidad and Tobago and Mexico but you'll see all of that stuff in the first episode of that which will be I don't know actually when it'll be whenever I decide to do a live comp proper basically so those are a bit sparringly obviously you'll get more of them when we come to a tournament um, then we might end up having like double episodes of that as well as a Wimbledon on those days just because obviously I can't do too many of those spread out because otherwise it will give stuff away about the tournament in the other one it's a bit difficult I'll figure out a way of doing it do not worry about that so we also topped the injury list so far, which is a bit annoying, but what can you do? So let's get into the squad and take a little gander. Ooh, that was what I was looking at before when I was trying to see who was on good money so I could see who we could get rid of, basically. Uh, Lou, copy overall, that's what we want. Top goal scorer, five goals for Fabio, um, only one for Cars. He's the only other player that scored. Assist-wise, though, Everton already has four assists in four games. He is monstrous at the moment, genuinely superb. Last five games, well, Fabio and Everton are the key men in that, but... Everyone else has still played relatively well. So, without further ado, let's just jump straight into today's game. It's against Spurs. I don't know why it's doing this. I'm on the match day. Oh, my God. But anyway, okay, yeah. So, how is everybody? This is getting silly now. I don't know why it's doing this. Um, it does this so much now. Even when you're on the match day... Uh, I'm just going to have to cut to the point where we're actually on the match day, guys. Right, we are finally on the match day after three minutes of just hanging around doing sweet FA. But there we go. So let's get to the team selection screen. I wish it would just let you do the match preview thing like normal. Um, so that's a score we play for a friendly. Mateus actually did score four times in that friendly though. So that's nice to see. So we're at home against Spurs. I'm going to go with the controlled method today. And now one thing I have noticed is that... I think that having an inside forward there wouldn't be a bad idea. But I don't think having him on attack is a good one. I think Isola playing him as a support striker... Uh, sorry, as a inside forward might not be the worst idea in the world now is Kirk really what we want there where is Fabio where's Fabio oh he's in there oh because of course we've got injuries to a lot of these players don't we okay okay no worries um is Kirk really the one that we want he's or should we give Mateus a run? I'm tempted to give, I'm tempted to do it you know give Mateus his first ever Premier League start today because why the hell not he scored so many goals in that friendly we may as well give him a run out we've got Kirk on the bench if we need to uh Fabio's going to be a little bit deeper today which is fine Sam Farmer got an England call up and he played against I can't remember who it was against but he played a game for England which was super nice to see um he's 19 years old and he's finally got his first cap my god Gareth Bale up top for Spurs now Spurs generally have been a bit of a bogey team for us over the last sort of well gear in a bit basically um, but we did manage to get the better of them last season so I'm just wondering if we're capable of doing that again um, only time will tell I guess let's do this let's just see what we're capable of today uh, Mateus up top is going to be an interesting experiment if nothing else uh, just to see what he's got really uh, but we'll see we'll see Everton we need a good game from uh, we, we really really do uh, Russell's got away with the warning there that's fine if we could win this one, that to me would really start to stamp some authority because we only lost narrowly to Chelsea, would have drawn against City, and if we could beat Spurs as well, that to me would signal that we're actually in for a decent season, in my mind anyway, because then we'll have some slightly easier fixtures coming soon, I expect. Out wide for Cresswell, go on, good ball. And Everton at the back post, and it is 1-0 to Wimbledon on three minutes. Everton now has a goal as well. Cresswell stepped up this year brilliantly, and if we could beat Spurs today, that would be just perfect. Um... Can't really say anything about the fixture at this point because we've literally three minutes in. We've had one shot and we've scored it and that doesn't really say anything about the full match. Yes, we've controlled the possession for that three-minute period, but who knows? Ramslow with a lovely ball out wide. Cresswell, but this is a hell of a cross. He do we should just call him Rich uh, Aaron Crosswell because he does. Anyway, that was a terrible... <laughs> so sorry um, it wasn't even a pun it was just awful okay so we started well but that doesn't mean this game is going to be perfect for us just yet um, but I, I'm encouraged by what I've seen so far we're controlling the ball quite nicely actually but then after half an hour is sort of where you can really see where things are going um, we've not created much ourselves neither have Spurs so we can take that into account um, 
Hmm, okay. They're getting a lot... Actually, they're not getting much possession at all. And they've not really offered anything yet. But that doesn't mean they won't. So we need to be careful. Right, there's a shot from them. They're getting a bit more possession now. Their pass completion is creeping up. So is the possession. It's starting to get a bit more even now. Right, let's take a little look. We're at the halfway... Okay, we've... A lot of our plays have been out wide. And they've been mostly down this... I'm just... Interested... Might actually exploit both flanks. Usually I don't exploit both flanks. But I feel like... Well, actually... A lot of our key passes are coming very, very high up the pitch in behind. And I wonder if that's because our fullbacks are overlapping and creating a lot of key passes. Fabio out wide. Can he get across in? Comes to Farmer on the edge of the box. He needs to be careful in these situations that he doesn't lose it. Lovely pass to Mankio. Go on, ball in. Goes back for Ramsar. This nice build-up. Fabio, can he slip it through for someone? He might, you know. Ooh, that's a strange pass from Fabio. Unless Farmer's got a good cross on him. This could be dangerous for us, actually, because Farmer's now out of position. Fabio might have just played us into some trouble there, but nope, we've managed to... Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Every time we look like we're about to clear the, clear the danger, Spurs get the ball back again. Go on, Crestwell. Oh, my... <laughs> That's the second game in this episode where we've done a silly back pass goal. Oh, dare me. Why is the... Hang on, did I not turn the... I... Why was there no replay of it? I didn't click anything. You could see my hands. Are we going to get an insta-highlight equaliser or go back in front again? Mateus, round the side for... Oh, it's across for Fabio! We're straight back in front. I don't know why there was no highlight of the first goal. Um, Fabio has now scored in all five Premier League matches. He's not even playing at striker today, guys, and he's still doing it. There we go. Mateus with a lovely ball in behind now. Isla, or Isla, can someone tell me how to pronounce his name, actually? Lovely pick out. And Fabio, oh, he's done the Decanio scissor kick there. Fabio has taken the piss a little bit now. Six goals in five matches. Is there ever going to be a break in play here? Tagio. Good block. Here we go. Mateus, he's looking nice. I'm liking his link-up play. Fabio drops that wife. Oh, he's gone all the way through. He's gone all the way through. He scored another one. It's Wimbledon 3, Spurs 1. Fabio now has seven goals in his first five matches. What's that, King Norman? Yes, he is your natural successor. What is this from Spurs, though? Fabio's just able to run straight past them and score. What a weird first half. Lovely little finish. It's 3-1 to Wimbledon now over Spurs. And what about this? It's amazing that we'd only be 10th this. 10th in the league. Oh, crap on a cracker. Okay. It's going to have to be Achibar. Oh, is it doing that thing again? Yeah. Okay, no worries. I'm not going to panic like I did last time. Um, wow, he's actually even worse than Gomez. But he's more of a defensive midfielder. But it's just nice that you have someone that can play there. He does have good tackling. Um, but th that's frustrating me because Mankio is such a key man in this team. We use him so much on the overlap. And I just wonder if Achibar can actually keep up in the second half. But we're, two, we're three goals... Not three goals. We got three goals and we're two two goals up. Right. I can't ask for more than that, frankly. That was a superb first half performance. I don't know what was going on with that Spurs goal. Uh, it didn't even show us a replay of it, which was strange. Um, but there we go. We've just got to, keep, got to keep going in this second half, I think. We've just got to keep the pressure on them um, and hope that we can keep doing... I've actually been very impressed with Mateus today. He has a really nice touch, it seems. I don't know what his rating is like today so far. Probably not even that high. 6.8. But I'm actually quite pleased with him. He's got an assist. He's linked up the play nicely. He's got a hockey assist on Fabio's goal as well. Or his first one, that is. Um, right. We're just going to tell them to concentrate because they're not actually getting that many shots on target. But we're two goals for the good and... Spurs are not yet offering anything, but that doesn't mean they're not going to come at us at some point in this. You've got to feel that they will do. Um, so, what change do we make? Do we get Kirk on for Mateus? Or do we get Murphy on for Mateus? Murphy actually had a goal disallowed late on against Chelsea that could have leveled things for us, but it just wasn't to be. Um, Ramsalar's on a booking. Do we get... No, I'm going to save Ramsalar. Because, um, he, again, he's having a good game because he's Bart Ramsalar and that's what he do. But, uh, right, okay, now I might get him off and get Masek on because Masek is just so much better in terms of tackling than Ramslar is. Uh, go on, Everton, get to that ball. Oh! Oh, my God, I thought we were going to end up combining to put it in our own net again. Isler, I've been impressed with him today a bit more than he has been of late. Um, maybe playing in that advanced forward... Uh, sorry, advanced forward. Inside forward role isn't such a bad thing for him. Deli Alley, watch for that ball in behind. Now, Spurs are playing it all in front of us at the moment. Wait, now that I've said that, they'll just pop this over the top. Why are we not closing down Gareth Bale? I sense that... Uh, maybe that's why, actually. <laughs> Maybe just to allow him to do things like that. Go on. Cresswell's ball in. Kirk! Incredible. We've got four against Spurs. Adam Kirk this time with the goal. We've been superb today. Like, we've not created that many clear-cut chances. I have to say that. Um, but we're taking our chances when they arise to us. And also, what about Aaron Cresswell today? Great ball this time. Kirk rises and just... How high did that goalkeeper jump? My God, it's like flipper. Um, Wimbledon four, Spurs one. What a performance on the night. Trying to maybe just hang on. Oh, no way. Not another one. Isola cleared away. Fabio, get it back to him. There we go. Isola again. He's got 17 on corners, I think, as well. He's got inside. Go on, get that shot away. Everton. Oh, what a save from Lloris. 
slow Loris there, very, very fast. And to be honest, we could have had a fifth one. I'm not sure what's happened in this game, but whatever it is, it's worked. Fabio, go on a hat-trick for Big Fab. Goes round a few, has a shot, and Loris makes the save. We've been utterly brilliant today. And to be honest, going through matches against Spurs, Chelsea, and Manchester City, taking four points and only losing narrowly in one of the games, to me, says a lot about the way we're going to be playing this year. Yeah, we had a poor result against Southampton on the first day, but we've really shown great character since then. And there we go, Wimbledon 4, Spurs 1, the perfect performance in just about every possible conceivable way. Two more assists for Aaron Cresswell, another uh, goal this time for Everton, and two more goals for Fabio. What a season he's having. He's scored seven times in the first five matches this year. He's playing like a monster. And that was from playing in midfield today. He just does it all, doesn't he? We've got good goals. Uh, maybe could do with the f conceding a few less, but I'm sure we can iron that out once we've got against some slightly weaker sides. I'm very impressed with that, guys. And next episode, we've got a lot of matches, but of course, it's not actually going to take us that far because we're going to do... I think we're going to do the Braga game. We've got Besiktas coming up right straight after this, which is going to be crazy difficult. We're at home, I think. So I'm thinking Braga. Because that still gives you the two games against Everton, the Sunderland game, and the Besiktas game. And then we get a game away in Portugal. And Braga, I, we did a question about stadiums a few uh, weeks ago. In fact, probably a month ago or so now. And I forgot to mention about Braga. Their stadium is one of my favourites because it's got that sheer cliff face on one side. And it is gorgeous. I remember watching it during Euro 2004 thinking, that is fantastic. So yeah, we're going to do Braga in the next episode. You might notice a different thumbnail. I've decided to do a new one for uh, the Europa League game. So anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, please do drop a like on the video. I hope you have, because we really are starting to find ourselves a bit of form again, which is fantastic. And I will join you guys uh, in the next episode for an away game against Braga. If you're wondering what happened to that right back I was said I was going to sign. Unfortunately, Fabio scored a goal, and that meant that we had to pay um, Atletico £10 million, which took all the money I was going to spend on the right back. So that's a bit frustrating, but hopefully we can pick him up in uh, the next summer. So anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow for a game against Braga. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.